This game I played the Croft. The Croft is the Madden Bowl runner-up, one of the best young players in the world. Uh, and one thing about him, man, he's improved every single year. I remember doing a YouTube video like Madden 18 or 17, and I and it, it turned up it was him I was playing at the time. I didn't know him from a can of paint, and and he was kind of weak back then. But every year he's gotten better and better, and to now he's one of the best players in the world. And um, before I go into this game, man, make sure you guys check these games live on Twitch. That's where it goes down. The link is below. All the links are here. All the links are there. If you're following me on social media, man, we have some Madden 21 copies to give out. So make sure you stay up to date with that, both on my Instagram and my Twitter. But the one philosophy I have, because you got to know players, man. Knowing your personnel, knowing your player, know who you're playing against. One of my biggest strengths is that the more I play somebody, the more I adapt to what they want to do. Now, D. Croft biggest strength is his pocket presence he hugs the pocket he stands steps up in it and when you step up in the pocket there's so many benefits one if you get sacked you're only losing you know one or two yards you know if some of you guys might get sacked and lose 12 yards you lose 12 yards on a play your drive is pretty much cooked so the one thing that's good about stepping up man even if the play goes bad you know you're probably right back where you started and you only pretty much lose it down maybe a couple yards two uh, it slows the pass rush down. If they got to go all the way around the tackles to get to the quarterback, it just makes it harder for him to get there. That's the benefit of stepping up. Anybody, really. And then also, it makes your quarterback an option to run. You know, people don't realize that you obviously get across the line, you can run or pass. It puts a lot of stress on the defense. And the last thing that's, that's understated is it makes the throw a shorter distance. If you step up in the pocket, it makes the throw a shorter distance. Like, obviously, you're right at the line. So if you're throwing 20 yards down the field, it's really 20 yards. Whereas if you're 10 yards back, now it's a 30-yard throw. So if the ball's in the air longer, it's going to give the defense more time to react, more time for the user to get there, more time for the zone to break on the ball. Just a lot of bad things can happen if the ball is in the air for longer. So that's why stepping up in the pocket is such a strength and is the cross biggest strength. Right? So what do you do about that? How can you stop somebody that has really good pocket? What is what is the, uh, you know, pretty much, how do you combat that? And for me, it's spying him. You know, it's not even about him scrambling. It's almost like a delayed blitz, where normally they want to step up and be comfortable because once you clear that mess of the tackles, you got a lot of comfortable space right there. So for me, if you keep that spy, even if he had Dan Marino and wasn't able to scramble, that spy kind of like a delayed blitz where it opens up, he steps up, and now that spy is right on him where he doesn't have that option to run or, you know, he only has another split second to pass the ball. I think spying him is one of the best things you can do when somebody's killing you stepping up in the pocket. Put that spy out there and send it when he steps up in the pocket. Really put that pressure on your opponent. Make him feel uncomfortable. That is the key to defense. So let's see how I did this in this game. All right, so we'll see how it works. I'm telling you, this is probably, even if you look back at the Madden Bowl Championship that D. Croft lost to Joke, you'll notice Joke spied him every single play. And uh, D. Croft actually beat Clef in that Final Four. And it's one thing I wish Clef would have did to make sure that he can step up. As you see here, him stepping up, hitting that dot over the middle. I rushed four people when in actuality I should have just rushed three with a spy. And honestly, sometimes three with a spy is better than four. So you see the next play, once again, I had a spy. He hits a little good dot. The one thing about all these TNC guys is um, that they're really good at throwing the ball underneath. They're really good at taking what's there. As you see a little drag right here, they're good at spacing out your zone. They're really good against zone. That's that's the one thing you can always say about them. Steps up again, but that spy is there. I had that spy kind of a delay pressure right here. Third and seven, he hits the flat. Can't get a hit on the, 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 on the tight end because he already had the ball, possession catch. Uh, but we definitely send that spy. You see him right there. He's not going to have all day. He's not going to be comfortable. And that's pretty much what we like is we get this big sack right there. Once again, the spy, third and 10. Huge play right there. And we actually get a huge pick right here. Terrell Edmonds on that running back wheel. Huge user lurk. Um, Simmons is the best user. I would be honest, Terrell Edmonds is probably number two. So if you don't have Terrell Edmonds, I promise you guys should get him out there in your lineup. Uh, he's probably a lot cheaper as we throw a pick through the body of work done right there. It's one of the reasons I went out and got Barry Sanders. Just getting boxed right there. Don't like to see that. So definitely just do a pick through somebody's body. Once again, we send that spy. I'm telling you, if you guys pay attention to how he steps up and there's always somebody there to kind of to greet him at the top of the pocket, that's what's key. Can I get my pick back through somebody's body? That would be nice. Thank you. 
Uh, once again, I'm only rushing two here and, you know, just spying him to go, go ahead. A lot of people in coverage are on a seven yard line. Just put a lot of bodies in the end zone. Make sure nobody can find a hole in the zone. Uh, everybody's kind of manned up. Just a great job uh, with coverage. And I send right there. He actually breaks the tackle. Once again, I send another person, go get the quarterback, and we get the sack. And we hold the Madden Bowl runner up to a three points on the first drive. Or second drive, actually. But uh, we got to get some points, really. I mean, honestly, uh, people say defense is hard. I feel like I I've been struggling on offense a little bit more than defense. I feel like I've been playing good defense. It's not necessarily a play as we go for this C route, knocked away. Do that a little bit late. That play's going to come back to be one of my money makers um, th throughout this game. As you see him just sticking to that cover one robber, man. Cover one robber, cover one robber. Probably the most popular defense here early in the game, but we hit that in route right there to Mr. Tyreek Hill. And just got to find somewhere to go with the ball on this cover one, on this man coverage as we find Mr. Drew Bennett up top corner route. We're closing in on field goal range. Dump the ball off. We actually get hit by the D tackle right there. The three man rush is just really effective this year. Dump the ball off the Tyree kill there. When they're in man coverage, man, you got to utilize all five of your receivers. That's pretty much one of the biggest keys to this as we go for a double move there. Don't ask me. I thought the double move would work uh, and do it late and do it in a lot of traffic. Don't I mean, but we get it right back. Simmons, Lurk, second Lurk of the game against D. Croft, just like that. I told you, Terrell Edmonds got one, Simmons got another. So I do a bad pass. He gets Lurk the next play. Got to take advantage. Um, underneath, we hit work done again. Like I said, you have to utilize all five of your receiver against this man coverage. Touchdown, Tyreek Hill. Man, Tyreek Hill. Pretty much must have wide receiver. I'll be honest. Uh, chemmed up over that 90 deep route running. That's a threshold so he can go to the Baja. Tyreek Hill is, is just, he's Tyreek Hill. He's the cheetah for a reason. Fastest player in the game. Mine is, I believe, up to 93 speed. Um, so that's a huge plus as he hits this corner route. Now, this play started that. I mean, I'll be honest. He motions in a corner route to the trip side. Uh, probably the only play that really hurt me as we get a huge pick from that spy stepping up and knocking the ball around making him uncomfortable when he steps up in the pocket that's pretty much the key uh to defense when you're defending someone that climbs the pocket as well as decroft does underneath again my man work done just hold on to the ball pick up a couple yards for me third and 13 we're going to take off with my man lamar go for the journal but we get pop fourth and short right here we're going to go for it we're going to hit. No, we're not picked off. And that's going another Apo Baja. Lamar, fight for me. Fight for me, Lamar. Fight for me. That's rough. Um, I felt like he was open. I'm going to be honest. I felt like that out route was open. Maybe I was late. The other thing that cost me doing a pick now. Now, remember this. I passed lead up. It's kind of like when you pass lead up, that brings the receiver further back or further towards the end zone, further away from the quarterback. Gave that DB enough room to undercut it and pick it off. So I'm playing great defense, but I've turned the ball over twice already. So we got to tighten up. And this one was before half. I don't even really count that one. You know, before half, you're just throwing the ball around to try to make plays. But we got that spy again. And we hit the corner route right here. Gets in the field goal range. Feeling rough about giving up that field goal before half. So things got bad. We we're 7-3 with the ball. Now all of a sudden it's 13-7. So like... Things can turn in a blink of an eye in football, and that's exactly how it is in Madden in the same exact way. So we got to go get some points. We got to manufacture some points against this man coverage. It's kind of popping me right there. Work done. Making a play. Didn't get picked off through his body again. Uh, so we just got to boom right here. We hit the C route. Get up out of there. Ooh, stop on him one time and take it to the Baja. Big Ed McCaffrey getting up out of there. Hard to guard him, man. Big play right there. If you want to find these man beaters, manturf.com. That ebook is out right now. Man to man, I feel pretty comfortable against, and that's big Ed McCaffrey making plays. You know the wide receiver that won me the Madden Bowl. He's a monster. Ed McCaffrey should be your team captain if he's not. Um, but so now we got the lead, but we only got the lead by one point. So we gotta we gotta get some more turnovers. We gotta make some plays as we see Adrian Wilson kill shot right there in the flats. That was a little wheel route to Eddie Jordan. I mean, um, these little cute dots. One thing about these, like this, like 
it's just like poking you, bro. He's poking, he's poking. Like, it's kind of like a jab in boxing. Like, you can't overreact to these little dots. You can't, or you'll give up a big 20, 30 yarder. You have to make you have to make somebody show you that they're patient enough to take these dots. Because if you overreact to these puppies, flats again, Adrian Wilson, kill shot. Um if you overreact to these as he goes up top on Dre Bly, what are you thinking, partner? Threw that joint up and picked off by Dre Bly, who I'll be honest, him and Asante Samuel, uh, they're the best corners in the game, but they are unbelievable. Asante Samuel and Dre Bly, if you guys don't have them, I would I would argue to get those guys. But I mean, we, you know, we're just, you know, we like to we like to give give other people. We're, we're a donation team on offense. We're just a donation team. That's what we do. We make sure you know people stay alive. Give them hope, because hope makes a better game. When somebody has hope, they just play better, play tighter. It's a more entertaining game. But there's that man Dre Bly, and you guys know where he's going to the ba ha. Dre Bly, I'm telling you, get up out of there, then young man. That is our fifth interception on D Croft. Our fifth. I don't think there's so many people walking that, that have five interceptions on Decroft, but my team went crazy. And we're going to go for two here because if I get two, the game's over. It's a two-possession game, but our read option gets bagged. So uh, we're up by seven. That's fine. Hold them out of the end zone. It's no big deal, right? This is what we do. This is how we act. This is how we behave on the football field. Keep playing defense. Man, he only has 13 points. I got to stop that corner route play. That's what he goes through right now. But we actually send an extra rusher. Troy Vincent gets in there on the sack. Man, the second and 12, he actually hits Eddie George on the running back streak. Ugh, anytime Eddie George catches the ball, it just looks ugly. Going for that corner route play again, I cover it and send that spy. Make him uncomfortable when he steps up. We get a big sack right there. Once again, he goes that corner route play again, we send that spy. I'm telling you, it's a delayed blitz against people that climb the pocket. Add it to your defensive game. Throws the flat right here, gets out of bounds, but we have a fourth down. Can we get up off the field right here? Nothing cute, nothing pretty. We're playing safe. Goes up top, and who's that man? Dre Bly, get it up out of here. Dre Bly, the best in the game. Dre Bly Asante should be your two corners if you can afford them. Uh, as we dot right here to Big Eddie McCaffrey. One field goal wins this game. Got to get in the field goal range. Work done. We're at the 34. That's 44. That's a 51-yard field goal. Lamar Jackson, come on, man. We can't lose yards there. Third and nine. We're going to go up top again. And we got bagged again. Incomplete. You know, all right, man, he didn't really want to catch that. So we're going to find him over here. Boom. Time at one time. Tyreek Hill. Baja. They drop a pick. You got to go Baja. So I'll be honest, man. Offense was pretty sloppy this game. That double move play, I'm taking that out of the repertoire. That's not good. If you see, I threw it twice this game. Both One was an interception. The other one should have been an interception. But at the end of the day, we're playing defense. And you can never be mad at yourself if you're playing defense making your opponent work that's the key man so if you guys haven't been watching man watch this spy do work uh it's not about him scrambling it's about applying applying a little bit of delayed pressure to him uh that's the key is he's just going to run the clock out uh for this game because there's nothing really else he can do and the one thing about madden they only give you one time out this year which i love but the thing is you get in these situations the game's over you can't really quit so Man, if you like this game plan, uh, please go ahead and hit the like button. Like I said, just add a little bit to your defensive game. Some people really like climbing that pocket, and it can kill three-man rush. It can kill a blitz. It can give them so much more time and make them a more effective player. But if you put that spy, kind of act as a delayed rusher, make it uncomfortable, they step the pocket, it can really improve your defensive game. 